All right, how do we want to do this? I guess we want to jump up here and then duck. And then just fire right on through. That's the safe way to do it. And no, I'm not talking about the store. I have no sort of sponsorship yet. You hear that safe way? You're drafted. Oh, this could be dangerous. Just throwing ourselves down here willy-nilly. Hey, it's a dude. Let's go down here, too. Hey, the fireball wrapped around. How cool is that? All right, we have another one of these to look at. Oh, shit! That was not cool, game. Don't do that. That is just terrible. Not that we need to collect that anyway, but... Jesus. What kind of ridiculous crap? All right. And then once you collect all this, you head back to... The top of this room. And I don't know what you're talking about. Luigi was always down to one hit. You're crazy. There we go. Let's go to the sparks. Alas, nothing doing. So now here, you can just walk along. But it's better just to duck the whole way if you want to be really safe. Because the sparks always come across the top. And they're sometimes very fast. Alright. What's down here? Why, it's a birdo with a key in his stomach. Of course, what else would it be? That was dumb. And that was even dumber. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I'll be here all night. Try the fish. Alright, Birdo, what do you got? This time, you're going down. That was a terrible throw. See, Luigi's got such a slow grab that he's a real pain to use for this. There we go. One hit at a time. Two! One more. And yes, you may have noticed there is a Fanto just waiting to stick it to us. So you want to get this as near to the door as you can. When you get out here, just use the key as a weapon. Just calmly walk out, kill the sparks one at a time. And then get over here and go in here. Sweet. Must be getting close. Hey! Alright. Let's do it. Come on, mister. Um, why is he flashing? Holy crap! That's right. He comes to life for some reason. Oh, shit. That was dumb. I took a necessary hit. Ah! Help me! The hawk's mouth is coming to get me. Um, Luigi, your jump was not near the power I was hoping it would be. There we go. Now, if you don't get in there fast enough, he'll start attacking again. Uh-oh. Phanto's the last boss. No, no, he's not. They're just here to watch the show. What show, you might ask? Your fight against Wart. That was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's start over. <laughs> let's start down on the bottom here again. See, if you just calmly watch where his bubbles are going, you can get yourself to safety. Now, what you want to do is, when he opens his mouth... You want to throw a vegetable into it. And this is the best spot to be, because you can catch the vegetables as they come out of these, this weird machine. Who knows why Ward has this machine stuck where he is, and he's vulnerable to these things. Oh, and also you can do this. You can go hide behind him if you can get over the top of him, and hit him with a vegetable that way. Whoa, okay, careful. Now, the timing's not too bad. You just got to get used to it. Like everything in else in life, really. Oh, that's unfortunate. His bubbles kill vegetables, so... Throwing the vegetables from the top edges there and trying to do it without being below him makes it a lot tougher. Come on, Wart. I ain't afraid of you. Okay, I should be the way I'm playing, though. Sweet. Vegetable. Good. Is that it? Are you done, Wart? Yep, he's choking. Now, when he's gray like that, he can still hurt you. So if you're hiding behind him and you have one hit, it's the one hit left, then he's he's going to hurt you and you're going to die. So it's best to fight him the way I just did, even though it takes a little bit of skill to maneuver. Anyway, let's go on and enjoy the end. Way to go, Luigi. Pull that cork. That's what we were trying to rescue. Whatever the hell those things are. Contributor, Luigi, Mario, Princess, and Toad. And that is why I chose who I did, when I did. Not many people know that, but if you get everyone the same, they all get to be contributors.
instead of just being Princess or Luigi like it is for almost everybody else. And <laughs> how they beat up Ward off screen. You violent little subcon mothers. Way to go, guys. You did it. You did it. Huzzah. And then an ending that pisses a lot of people off. It turns out it was all a dream. And Mario's just snoring away in bed like some lazy, fat Italian plumber. But I love this ending music. And I keep Mario wakes up, it's like, oh, I still got a couple more hours to sleep. Oh, such good music. Such a fun game. Completely different from any other Mario game, but so much fun. Let's check out the cast. I like how they do this, too, with the kind of the white outlines and stuff. It's good. Oh, yes. The contributors. The equal contributors. So, so good. Shy Guy made his way into the regular series, as did the Sniffit. Largely on the back of Super Mario RPG, I think. Ninji appeared in, I think, Super Mario World. I don't think Bezos or Porcupos have ever been heard of from since. Nor Tweeter, for that matter. Or the Monkey Man. Bavom's the only one that made it uh, from Super Mario Bros. 2 to Super Mario Bros. 3. Hoopstar, which is actually a hoopster. It's misspelled there. But what can you do? Um, a Trouter, Dump, Pidget. May have seen, yeah, Pidget's made it like Pidget Bill, Super Mario World. Panzers, not really. Flurries, no. The Albatas, very cool, no. Fanto deserves to be around still. Great enemy. The appropriately named Spark. I like how Subcon is in there, just in the middle of the enemies for no reason. Well done. Now, there's a huge mistake. Birdo and Ostro's names have been switched. Totally weird. That created a lot of confusion. Ah, the Autobomb. Cobrat. Not met that many enemies in this game. Mauser, Fry Guy, Claw Grip, Triclide. Gotta like Triclide. Does Wart not get one? That's not very nice. Oh, there he is. He gets his own little thing. Are you gonna laugh, Wart? You gonna laugh? Yeah, you should laugh. Even though you choked to death on my vegetables. Yes, vegetables. And there it is. The end. Amazing. Just amazing. So much fun, too. But, maybe I should show you guys all the warp zones. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do.